We're here with Al McConnell and Lachlan Buzzard from GWS. Boys, Al, we'll start with you. How have you found the draft camp so far? Um, yeah, look, it's always an exciting time. Lots of uh, opportunity for young fellas to present themselves in a good light. And I never fail to be uh, impressed with the way that uh, these guys present themselves in a fairly daunting uh, situation. I guess it's like um, a whole series of job interviews and um, the panel's often made up a lot of a large number of people so uh, pretty impressive to see how these young guys handle that. Lockie, is this the first time that you've sat through draft camp interviews? Uh, first time I've sat through interviews, yeah, certainly experienced draft camp before. Um, as El said though, it was great to see this morning there was a record broken in the, in the sprint so to see things like that happen every year knows that there's still improvement to come and you can find kids who have abilities that potentially others haven't had every year as we go forward. What's your reaction been of how the boys have handled themselves in the interviews? Oh, look, I think it's, it's always the same. 17, 18 year old boys always feeling nervous in front of people they don't know. Um, some of the guys who've had experience though have been, been fantastic and I guess they, they certainly warm to a panel as, as El said in front of seven or eight people it can be fairly daunting, especially when you've got the master sheet sitting there. Um, you know, a guy has been in the game for what 30 odd years and coached at the highest level for 27. In his coaching capacity, and this is probably his, he's probably been to every draft camp there's ever been. So he's, uh, he's certainly well versed in, in what to say and, and certainly uh, throws a few curly ones at the kids. Al, what's one of the key things that you're looking for when you're interviewing these young players? Um, honesty, composure, um, a capacity to want to learn, to do things better and differently. Um, and I also guess to get a sense of where they come from so that you've got a sense of um, um, their challenges, um, both, on, both in terms of their history and their future. We've seen Matthew Lloyd introduce a new skill test this year. How do you think that'll go with the players? Lucky. Oh, look, I think it's every time it's a new challenge for them. And no doubt they've been practising it uh, the last few weeks before they get here. So like the Buckley kicking test the first year, there'll no doubt be some uh, tinkering that will be needed as we go forward. Obviously last year the result for that was outdoors may not be the best thing because of the wind and the conditions like that. So look, it's going to be a, another good way to see boys you know, under the pressure of a match simulation, I guess, if you will. Uh, to see how they cope, but um, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. None of us have seen it, so hell. And I guess the other thing is history will show whether or not that proves to be a whether it proves to be a good indicator of um, f uh, future performance. How long until we can have a decision on these remaining positions, Al, with the boys that we're interviewing now? Yeah, well, look, we've got to uh, complete the state screening process um, before we can actually sit down and then discuss. Um, all of the boys collectively, so to be fair to everybody, we need to make sure that we've actually completed that process before we start to uh, 